And if you've stepped out recently, making, maybe taking the dog for a walk or uh, just heading home from some evening plans, you've certainly felt how chilly it has become over the past couple of hours. And it's going to continue to uh, drop in terms of our temperatures here throughout the night. All of our sky cams, though, uh, we are clear out there. So if you are heading home out on the roadways, not expecting any uh, troublesome uh, traffic out there or anything uh, that will be uh, hindering your outdoor plans. Temperatures across the area already seeing those 40s popping up. 46 for Harrisburg, 46 for Carbondale, 41 for you in Mount Vernon, 44 for Perryville. A little bit warmer down south, 50 for Murray, 50 for Union City and Sykeston, 54 for Kennett. But all of us will be tumbling continuously here through the next several hours into the low 40s. And eventually, by the time we wake up tomorrow morning, a lot of us probably going to be in those upper 30s. So if you do have any early morning plans out across the area for the start of your weekend, you certainly want to take a jacket out there and just uh, really stay warm because, yeah, we're going to be seeing those 30s once again for us. we got a cold fall night tonight. And those clouds and the temperatures, they're quick to increase though this weekend, so not going to have to deal with a prolonged period of cooler weather here. Uh, the, with those clouds increasing, temperatures increasing, that's all ahead of a cold front that's going to head our way uh, for the day on Tuesday, Election Day for us, and that's going to give us a much more active weather pattern uh, for the day on Tuesday. Future cast, of course, showing. As we wake up tomorrow morning, we'll wake up to some partly cloudy skies. We'll have waves of clouds on and off through the afternoon. Could see some mostly cloudy skies for us before maybe some clearing out towards the evening time. As we head towards Sunday, though, that's when I think we see an overcast day and potential to see some light rain shower activity. You can see the latest model run showing at least a few scattered showers out there across the area Sunday afternoon. So we'll have to watch that as that cold front continues to push closer and we could see more rainfall chances uh, even through the day on Tuesday. You want to keep the Storm Track 3 app downloaded and ready to go. You'll have that radar right there in the palm of your hand to be able to track all of those showers as they could impact your commute over the next several days through the weekend and into early next week. And of course, you'll have those 10 day forecasts and hourly forecasts to help keep you updated as well. Rain chances again were dry tomorrow, but then Sunday into Monday, that's when we'll see more chances for those isolated showers across our area. A more widespread chance for Tuesday as that front does push on through. And we're talking uh, one to two inches here from this rainfall uh, from now until Tuesday. So another good soaking across our area. Certainly something that we definitely need because we have been just so dry recently over the past couple of weeks. Seven day forecast, of course, showing you one more really nice day tomorrow. We'll see some of those clouds mixed with some of the sun and those temperatures slowly starting to increase uh, back into those upper 60s. By the time we head towards Sunday, though, make sure you turn those clocks back an hour because our temperatures they are going to be turning up. We're talking mid 70s as we head through the early portion of the week. And then, of course, more and a better chances for showers as we start the work week with uh, not seeing the sunshine until maybe Wednesday of next week when that cold front clears. We'll start feeling like fall again as well. But Tuesday looks like to be the messiest day of the week with showers and storms for a good part of the afternoon. You know, we need the rain, but the weather is not very considerate about when it rains. <laughs> Halloween and on election night. I so. know it really is uh, just unfortunate timing. Well, just have to have the app to kind of keep keep handy. So exactly. All right. Thanks, Nick. Yeah.